What's up everyone, it's Grim Reaper Sage here. This is my three minute review for Wildmender. Shout out to Kowali Gaming, who was the publisher who provided me with the code. Developed by Muse Games and was released on the 28th of the 9th, 2023. It is on the PS5 and it is £19.99. Um, so yeah, so let's get into it. So the world I found was interesting and fun to explore. Um, the difficulty options is nice to suit styles. You can tweak a lot of stuff like uh, how how much food you need, how fast the food deteriorates, stuff like that. So it's really good for a survival game. Um, controls are easy to understand. The skills are really cool and unique. There's everything to help you build more to improve the um, rewards you get from growing the plants and stuff like that. There's tons of items to pick up. Um, they're all really impressive. They all have their own uh, stats and that. Like you can pick up like bits of food. Like as you can see, there's like bits of grass. You can pick it up. You can then plant that to then grow more plants, or you can eat it to obviously give you food. Some of the food does give you like negatives and stuff, so be careful of like try not to eat everything. I died a few times by just eating everything like a crazy person when you get hungry. And then ended up poisoning myself, so be aware of that. Um, art style is really pretty and detailed. It's a nice, cool looking art style. Um, it's really fun with friends, and um, but it's also soluble, which is a nice touch as well. Um, and the best one I found for me personally is there's no real penalty of death. You know how like Dark Souls and like Ark and other survival games, you know, um, they all have it when you die, you have to get back to your body. Otherwise, you'll lose everything, and you know you get a penalty on this game. If you die, you know it, nothing really happens. You just go back to your body, and you know there's no real penalty for death. It's not like a big issue, which is quite nice and a nice feature. A um, couple of real sort of downsides, as such, is for me there was not enough guidance on where to go or the best thing to do, which left me confused sometimes. It's just like you know go here and do this, and you're like, okay, where am I going? What? You know, so that can be a bit annoying. And the controls, I found, uh, could be a bit clunky in the menu when using the menus, like trying to navigate to find things. So overall for 19.99, like I said, yeah, it's got a few little negatives and stuff. Um, I'd put this as a weight on a sale. really hope you enjoy this video. If so, please subscribe. It helps me an absolute ton. Check out my blog, which is blog. On there is where I post my fan art and everything else. As between that and my YouTube is how I get more codes, so any subscribers help an absolute ton. As always, I hope you really enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all very soon.